Namaste guys, Rajesh here. In this video, I'll show you how to install a custom ROM on a rooted Android device. Now I'm assuming three things in this video. First, your Android device is already rooted with a custom recovery like DWRP installed. Second, you have backed up all your important data on the device. And third, you have zeroed in on the custom room that you want to use and have transferred its installation zip file to the internal storage of your Android device. Since these things vary from device to device, it is not possible for me to cover them in a single video. The actual procedure to install any custom room is actually very simple. The first thing that you need to do is boot your device into TWRP or CWM recovery. To do this, you need to switch off your device first, then using a combination of the volume keys and the power button, boot it into recovery mode. An alternate and a much simpler way is to use an application called Quick Boot from the Play Store. You simply install the app, open it, tap on recovery, grant it root access and wait for it to automatically boot your device into custom recovery. However, Quick Boot does not work with handsets from Sony and Motorola, so owners of these handsets will have to manually boot their device into recovery mode. Since I am using a Moto X, I will have to manually boot the handset into recovery mode. So once your device has booted into TWRP or CWM recovery, you need to wipe the existing installation of Android from your device. This can be done by going to the wipe menu, tapping on the advanced wipe option and then selecting the system and data part partitions. You then need to confirm your selection by swiping the arrow at the bottom of the screen to the right. Once the partitions have been formatted, you need to head over to the main menu of EWRP or CWM recovery. You can tap on the back button located at the bottom right corner of the display for this. So once you are back to the main menu, you need to select the install option, navigate to the folder where you had transferred the zip file of the ROM and then tap on it. Once again, you need to confirm your selection by swiping the arrow at the bottom of the screen to the right. Now the custom room will be installed on your device. The whole process will take less than a minute. Once it's done, you need to tap on the reboot system button to boot back into Android. Now the first boot will take up to a few minutes so don't panic if your device seems to be taking a long time to boot. In case it doesn't boot even after 5 to 10 minutes, you need to repeat the steps I have shown in this video. Once your device has booted into the new custom room that you have installed, set it up and enjoy all the new features offered by it. So that's it guys, thanks for watching this video, do drop in a comment and subscribe to the channel if you like this video.